Here's a map of Europe. Which places could you eat foods that are particularly not normal? I would personally think of France, since they're quite famous with their frog legs, or Scotland because of haggis. Well, as you probably saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to focus on snails. It's normal for some, but exotic for others outside. And if you're planning on traveling to Europe, I bet you'll be delighted to know that France, Portugal, Spain, and Italy are the main consumers of snails. Since I'm from Portugal, I wanted to show you where you can find them. Snails are so popular between May and August that you even find some signs outside restaurants that they have snails. Akarekois means there are snails. Or for anyone that doesn't speak Portuguese, HA! I found snails. Another way of finding them is actually in Portuguese supermarkets. However, it's mid-September, school and university has started and the weather is looking like- It's raining even more now. Will I even find them? Call's name of other worker. Fish caracois. No apples, no? Okay. Alright, first store, no luck. No, no snails here to be found. Alright, store number two, wish me luck. Okay, I got them, finally. And as you can see inside, it's literally just a bucket full of snails here inside, boiled in this liquid. So maybe let's first take a look inside. So you can already see some of the snails here. Oh, doesn't this look appetizing? And traditionally, here in Portugal, they serve them in a metal plate. And they just literally just... It smells just like the broth they cooked in. And there's actually two ways of eating this. So the first one, we use some toothpicks. So you go here, take it out. I know this sounds disgusting, like eating snails, and it looks disgusting. I can, I can really understand that. But it tastes much better than it looks like. And the second way of eating this is actually just without using a toothpick, you're just so because they've been boiled in all these spices, they taste just like them. So it's a little salty, but like flavors of spices. That's how I would describe it. And the texture is, it's slightly rubbery, but it's not chewy. You don't have to chew a lot. So yeah, if you haven't tried it or you're planning to visit Portugal, I strongly suggest to put this in your bucket list.